Hey there guys, Nephi here with a 101 guide for the new fight on Showdown, on hard mode difficulty. We'll be going through how to fight the Matron of Yushan, with what attacks to look out for, what's new, and what jades will help make your life easier on additional runs. With this fight, omens cause frostbite, which when reaching maximum level will freeze characters. To combat this, there is the introduction of ice wielding variations of jades, and these give you bonus damage to astral ages upon expunging frostbite stacks. At higher levels, Ice Wielding also helps resist the Frostbite effect from Omens. These can be obtained via the shop after earning event-related currency on Showdown runs. The limited vials can be imbued to a Jade of your choice. In addition, these currencies can be used to unlock the limited time Katana and Longsword skins exclusively from Showdown. It takes 5 vials to imbue a single purple Jade, 10 for a gold. You can also find pre-imbued Jades via drops. To imbue a jade, simply right click it in the jade inventory and choose imbue. Afterwards, you can see the ice wielding bonus in its description. More ice files can be earned via weekly challenges. In addition, Tianhai has been added to the hero roster. He wields a staff and his ranged weapon is a swarm. His bell skill parries focus attacks and protects him, while in his Varja form he can also parry. This can be performed just like a regular parry. Going into this fight, just like previous fights, it's highly recommended to have someone take Kurumi, as her healing and prayer circle ult will make it a lot easier. In addition, it will take time to get ice wielding drops to combat the frost, so her sustain will help a ton. If you have the jades, I recommend taking a weapon sap jade, as this gives health and armor back. This is important, as there isn't any mob drops in this fight. The Matron of Yushan has two stages. Let's go over what attacks she has in her first stage. Her first attack type is a raw standing vertical focus, which she crouches and throws out. Dodge or parry this. Here she starts with a horizontal light swipe and goes into a focus lunge. Parry the lunge. Pay attention to if the attack is in focus, as here she does a vertical light lunge. Sometimes it will result in a grab on hit, so watch out for this wind up. In the focus attack where she flies up sideways, she will follow up with an additional focus attack and finally end with a horizontal light. If you happen to parry the first, parry again instead of doing the follow up and this would negate the final slash. If she pulls back like this, she's about to do a vertical focus lunge. Be prepared to dodge left or right or parry when she drops back down. Her final variation is where she leaps back in the air and throws two longsword focus scales. These can be easily parried or dodged. Once she reaches low health, she would transition to stage 2 in the fight, the floor collapsing into a new arena. Her first pattern is a vertical light whip into a puppet stance attack, followed up with a vertical lash, a small spin which turns into focus. Try to peel and put distance, or go for a parry in the one instance of focus. If you ever see her in a stance where she spins her whip in a circle while standing, this is an easy window for a parry. Go for it the moment she stops spinning as she will lunge at you. When she retracts her whip back into a sword, she is about to go into a flurry of four light attacks. It is best to just avoid it completely by putting distance. She will end it with a puppet focus attack that you can go for a parry. At the halfway point in health in stage 2, she will have a massive area of effect attack paired with a far range tether stun that freezes you. If you have a Kurumi without up, this will help you tank the sequence completely. If not, be sure to put a fair bit of distance and watch the floor for the attacks. Be ready to get stunned or if statues and vents are available, use them to your advantage. After this, continue the fight as you have before, as her patterns don't deviate. We hope this helps you vanquish the Matron of Yushan Forerunners, and I'll see you in the next one.